and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Saturday baseball on the show. It's the Cleveland Guardians taking on the Seattle Mariners. First pitch coming your way next. So almost ready to get underway and on the hill, Logan Gilbert. Oh, a very solid ERA last season, just a little over three. And when you've got a guy like that uh, taking the mound for you, the offense is definitely expected to score well, four runs at least unless they're really struggling. So you know more times than not, when he's on the bump, you're going to win the ball game if you just do your part as an offense. So last year, great year. He wants to repeat that or even improve. And I think there is some room for improvement. He's got good stuff. It's just executing from hitter to hitter. All in one now. Ripped on a line. Pulls up on it, and that's a base hit. Steven Kwan digs in now. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Steven Kwan, pretty active on the bases, and not surprising, his favorite players Field, growing up. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. Double. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Ow! That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big-time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. The 0-2. In the air, out towards right center. Hernandez makes the catch, and there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's Jose Ramirez. First pitch, oh, just misses. And another that's ball. A, ball. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by yeah. a power guy like this. That's a nice miss Two right balls, there. Right. No score just getting started. Top of the first. Next pitch is outside. 3-1. Ripped to third, but handled. And that'll end the inning. We'll go to the bottom of the first. 0-0. Zero, zero. Welcome back. And starting in this one, Cal Quantrill. What do we need to know here? Yeah, very respectable numbers last year. A sub-350 ERA. And, you know, guys like that, you may think, well, they're elite pitchers that are pitching sub-2s. They're dominating. But when you can have that kind of consistency, you know you have a chance to win the ball game every time he takes them out. So, you know, good season last year. Opportunity for him to go out there and repeat it this year, possibly even improve. But I tell you what, if this guy's pitching for me and I'm playing in the outfield, I'm loving every minute of it. Quattro back to work. Center field. Valera after it. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. One down. And up next for Seattle, Ty France. Two for eight in the series so far. That one's in there, 0 and 1. This one popped up. Jimenez pulls that one down, two down. And now the center fielder, Julio Rodriguez. He's got four hits in the series on nine at bats. Off the plate, and that is ball one. And there's a strike. One and one. On the ground, Naylor collects. He handles it himself. Third out. And welcome back. Top of the second. Josh Bell at the plate now. Bell puts it in the air out towards left center. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. And now 
It's Josh Naylor. High fly ball down the left field line. Pollock in pursuit. Brings it in. Two down. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Here comes the one. Crawford tosses across the first, and that is that. Nothing doing for the Guardians there. Bottom of the inning. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. The right fielder. Quantrill back to work. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. And it's even up. Boog, one of our favorites. Jerry Hillsdale umpiring behind home plate in this one. Pretty much by the book with his strike zone. And because he's so by the book, you'll sometimes see pitchers questioning him. They'll make a good pitch on the edge of the zone, want the strike, and not get the call. But most of the time, Jerry gets it right. He's a good one. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those could be a oh, little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. Quadro back to work. And that one oh. missing low. 1-1. One, one. That misses. And yeah, that's ball two. And that one in the air center field. Valera moving under it. Pulls it in for the out. Cal Raleigh getting ready to hit with four runs driven in on four hits to this point in the series. And he swings and misses oh, at the initial offering. Next offering is fouled back. Second inning here, no score. Foul ball still 0-2. and misses it's a strikeout and one two back here at the ballpark now here is Ahmed Rosario yeah. there's a strike Rosario measures six feet two inches hitting seventh in today's lineup and he was born in the Dominican Republic up the middle Crawford throws the first in time and one away in the top of the third George Valera in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Got her. Two away down. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Bo Naylor at the plate now. In there, and it's 0-1. Naylor will handle the catching duties in this one. 23 years old. A former first-round pick back in 2018. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try and tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Next oh. offering misses, and it's three and two. Got a full count. This one in the air center field. Rodriguez settles under it, and that'll do it. Guardians go down. Back at T-Mobile Park, oh, set for the bottom of the third. A.J. Pollock at no the dish. Hey, Pitch. Pollock. Going one. Pollock, Going one. a former Gold Glove winner, a member of the 1,000 Hit Club, he joined the team as a free agent. Next offering oh. upstairs. That's out to center field. Valera after it. Nice grab on the run. And there's one away. So up next, J.P. Crawford. Fly ball to right. Gonzalez moves under this one. Makes the catch. And a couple of quick outs. Tommy Listella to the plate. 
And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. On the ground, out to short. Toss to Naylor. Gets him easily, ends the inning. Welcome back. Here's a speed threat. Andres Jimenez. On the ground, right side. On to France. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Right Quan batting with one down, takes a strike. Right side. Wong to first. And a couple of quick outs. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. And that one fouled off. You know, see, Jose Ramirez signed that big extension, a five-year, $124 million contract before the 2022 season. But right before that happened, the Guardians came this close to trading him. Gets a piece and stays alive. And the 2 And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a... Bottom of the fourth, Colton Wong up to hit. And the pitch. Not the best swing oh that my. time from the first round pick. In the dirt. Naylor throws to first in time. One up, one down. And stepping in for the Mariners, Ty France. 0 for 1. He flied out to right this first trip. That one misses in the dirt. The Mariners still looking for their first hit in this one. That's to third. It's in and out of his glove. Throw to first. Gets him. Good job to stay with it there for the second out. Julio Rodriguez up next for the Mariners. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Out to short. They get the force, and that's the inning. Gilbert back to work. And yeah, first offering is fouled off. You know, these Guardians just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. Next pitch oh, misses outside. outside. Gonna count one and two. Got him looking for the K. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Here's Josh Naylor. First pitch, and he just misses. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Go ahead, run on base. And up next for Cleveland, Oscar Gonzalez. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Just a simple ground ball the other way. Had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Next one misses, and the count is one and one. That one missed. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boy. The next offering misses. Three and one now. And a base hit right there. Runner around third on his way to the plate. Relay throw. Safe at the plate. 
on the board first it's one zip well that was an important at bat in this game so a great job there stepping up to the challenge nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line you know hitters they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field and it doesn't always translate into the game but right there it did and he did it perfectly Valera at the plate now and that's inside in the air left field Pollock racing makes the catch yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Puts the squeeze on that one. That is the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 1-0. You're dialed into the show. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. There's a strike. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that. You could have a really good day out there on the mound. And now the count is even. And here it comes. And that one is inside. Swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. Yeah, the right hander deals. And that's down and away. Now on this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The pitch. Out to short. Rosario over to pick it up. Zips it to no. first. And that is a big first out. And now the catcher comes up to him. Cal Raleigh. His first hit bat was a strikeout. And there's the strike. Now a one and a one. Swings and misses. One, now one and two. Got him swinging. And now for Seattle, A.J. Pollock. And first offering is fouled off. Right-hander kicks deals. Hit. Well, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Up the middle. Now the throw to first on the run. Okay. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Mariners. Back in Seattle, here's Andres Jimenez. First oh, offering misses the mark. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases ah. and pick up a run. The wide to kick the pitch. And misses no, inside. It. Swing and a miss. Two balls, two and down on strikes he goes. And one out now. Stepping up for the Guardians, Stephen Kwan. Yeah. And that's in there for strike one. Kwan. In his second season, 25 years old, and he won a gold glove last season. And That's foul good. ball. The wind of the pitch. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Ramirez in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. And that is a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Good job to fight that one off. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat.
Next offering misses down and away. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. So they make short work of him there. Eight, nine, one. Back here at the ballpark. And now the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. And a pitch. Just nope, missed. That's outside. Ball. And that misses outside. off the that's outside the edge. And the righty deals. Misses with the 2-0. And he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. And there's the strike. And a pitch. And he walked him. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with a free pass. La Stella at the plate for the second time as he takes ball one. Crawford gets his lead at first. Nobody out. That's ripped into the outfield. Can't get their base hit. Here's the throw. Throw comes in. Runner stop. Second and third. Nobody out. And he's into second with nobody out. Back to the top of the lineup. And up next for Seattle, Colton Wong. And ball one. Well, they kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. And now it's even up. One one. I think ultimately you want to tie him up. Get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Swing and a ground ball off the middle. That's a base hit. One runs in. Valera fires it to the plate. Not in time. He's safe at the plate. And a 2-1 ball game now. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. <laughs> Runner in scoring position. No outs. And stepping in for the Mariners, Ty France. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Going one. Swing and a ball popped up. Jimenez makes the grab one down. And now for Seattle, Julio Rodriguez. One for two. Rodriguez. And first offering is fouled off. Back to the mound. It hit him. Toss to Naylor. And there are two down. Catcher coming out to check on him. It looked like it got him on his back leg. So you wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber. Yeah, it's a great point, and we'll have to see how he looks. But to me, it appears he's moving pretty well. I think it's just going to sting for a while, but hopefully nothing more. Hernandez nope. up to the plate for the third time as he looks at one down low. Swings and misses. That's strike one. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yep, with just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets outs. Righty delivers. Foul ball there. Next offering upstairs. Just not taking the bait right there, but a good pitch with two strikes. A. Eugenio Suarez in the on-deck circle. Back to work, 3-2 now. This one high in the air to left center. Quan heads after it. Makes the catch, inning over. Two runs for him, and they jump ahead. The 
wind of the pitch. Bell can't hold up, and that's a strike. Line drive. Makes the catch. One down. Josh Naylor will hit next. And first offering is fouled off. Next pitch is popped up. Suarez snags it for the second out. Now it's the right fielder, Oscar Gonzalez. Check swing. He went 1-1. Oh, no. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you've got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you got to take what he's offering that day. In there safely. For two outs, you just want to find a way to keep the line moving for the next guy. So an infield single right there does the job. Oh. Nicely done just putting it in play ball, and no getting strike. down to first to keep this inning alive. That you is, never know ball. what might come next as a result. 2-0 to Cal. Here it comes. Right. That's in there. Right now, they're looking for something. Hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. Bounced up the middle. And it gets by him. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from and there's just no one there to knock it down. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tie and run and start us over here in the late innings. And the 0-1. That one missing inside. One and one. And there's a ball. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. France takes it himself. That ends the frame. Guardians. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Eli Morgan. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Suarez stands in now and watches strike one. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Way inside, gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. Not close with that one. Two and two. And he deals. Swings through it for the K. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Cal Raleigh, the next to hit. Ball one oh. there. Cleveland as a match. 1 0. Next offering is fouled back. On the ground to third. Sends it across to first. Two up, two down. Now the left fielder, A.J. Pollock. A.J. Pollock. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got good numbers swinging at pitches in that location. Next offering is fouled back. Two down, nobody on. One and two. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0 2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for a strike. Welcome back. So they turn to the veteran pitcher in this spot, Paul Seawald. A chance at his first save of the year. That's down and in. Next offering is in for a strike. 
There's the swing and a miss. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Caught him looking for the K. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this right. inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Next pitch misses, and a count two and one. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Next pitch misses inside, and a full count now. Got him, and there's two away. Well, this is exactly what you're looking for from your bullpen arm when you roll him out there to start a new inning, hold on to a small lead. Just such a stabilizing effect. And not only get the first two hitters, but to strike them out. That gives everyone on defense a big boost of confidence. Hit on the ground to the right side. On to France. And that is that. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Sam Hentges. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. The flip to the pitcher covering, and that's one away as the leadoff man. La Stella at the plate and takes high there. Movement in the pen for the Guardians. Nick Sandlin up and throwing for Terry Francona. Swing and a ball popped up. And it falls. So that will bring up the top of the order with one away. Look, well, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Wow. Now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. One for three. And he's down 0-2 as oh, he swings good. through it. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball. See if he adjusts on this next pitch. That missed, next ball. one misses. And a count one and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Oh, you got to be pretty quick with the bat speed these days. So many guys throwing in the upper 90s, and you see the velocity on that one just tough to catch up to. I mean, guys are coming in, and they're going max effort. They're not looking to go a long distance. They want to get as many strikeouts as they possibly can. Next pitch inside, and one and one. La Stella off of first with two away. This one popped up and makes the grab. And that is the third out of the inning. Welcome back. And here comes the closer, Andres Munoz. This is his first appearance of the season. The pitch. Ramirez in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Next offering is down low. Two balls, no strikes to count. And that one is in for a strike. Two balls, the pitch. No, that means that's the ball. Three more. There's a strike. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. The tying run at the plate. And that one is lifted in the air. Pollock has this one sized up. Makes the grab. And there's one down. That's a big first out right there. And that changes things. Yeah, you can kind of see how just the hope and optimism is shrunk a little bit. But they got a couple more outs to work with. They got to find a way to get a runner on and get one around the bases. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day. And a nice job of turning that one around. Nailer in the box now. Take strike one. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Next pitch is inside. Now one and two. Stays alive. Next pitch is outside. 
That one just misses. Well, on this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boog. Left hand hitter waits. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Out there to center. Rodriguez settles under it. Squeezes it. And there's two down. So two down now. And here is Oscar Gonzalez. In there for strike one. Typically the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front. Make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. Swings through that. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. And it's even up. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game. Hammered, and this one could be extra bases. Makes the turn at second, heads for third. Coming home. Juan with a relay throw. Tag. Not in time. Safe. And they've tied it in the top of the ninth. Well, he delivers in a huge spot right there. Well, he's so dialed in. I don't think he even realizes how much pressure exists out there. Very easy swing, nice and relaxed. This is the type of approach you want to see guys take in this situation. And that's a base hit. Runner around third. He'll score. It's 3-2. He's in there. And in the ninth, they take the lead. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure oh, stroke. Boy. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Swing and a miss. 0 oh, and 2. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. A couple of runs in the inning puts them ahead. Hard of the order. 3 4 5 will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. Guardians 3. Here comes Emmanuel Classe out of the bullpen. He comes in with a chance for his second save of the season. Julio Rodriguez now at the plate. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. In for a strike. That's strike one. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Owen oh, two as he waves at that one. The pitch. Bounce to the right. Jimenez throw to first. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. Hernandez swings through it oh, for one. strike one. Next offering is fouled back. And the pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. To the right side. Tosses to first. Down to the last out for the Mariners. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. On the ground. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Guardians hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. The whole game, these guys had to battle with that 10th man, those fans making a lot of noise, but they took the lead in the ninth inning, quieted things down, and were able to get those final three outs in the bottom half as well. Just a very well-executed ball game.